In Chrome 42, we introduced App Install Banners to make it quick and seamless for Android users to add your web app to their home screen with just a single tap. But there was no way to tell if they did. Well, now you can. There are some important changes to the way push works and improvements to notifications. Ready? Then let's take a look at what's new in Chrome. Starting in Chrome 44, Chrome fires a before install prompt event before the app banner is shown. This event includes a promise named user choice that is fulfilled after the user has responded to the banner. The fulfilled promise includes an outcome property that you can use to determine if the user's dismissed or accepted the banner and added your app to their home screen. This is a great tool for understanding how your users interact with the app install banner. You can also prevent the banner from appearing by calling prevent default on the event object. In the future, this will allow you to defer the banner until later, for example, after the user has completed a specific action. One other tip, if you set the start URL in your manifest to include a query string like UTM source equals manifest, you can use analytics to track how often people are launching your app from their home screen. If you've been using push notifications, there are a few updates to be aware of. You no longer need to include GCM user visible only, true, in the manifest file. Instead, this parameter is moved to the subscribe method on the service worker and is passed as a parameter user visible only, true. Also, the need for subscription ID has been removed from the spec. It's still available in Chrome 44, but will be removed from Chrome 45. Check out this link for details on how to deal with this until all of your users have upgraded. One of the more useful updates is the addition of notification data, which makes it possible to attach a JavaScript object to the notification, which can be read when the user clicks on the notification. In the past, if you wanted to do this, it was rather ugly. You could either store the data in the icon URL or use something like IndexedDB. Yuck. Now we can simply pull the notification object out of the notification. And poof, I am a little teapot. One of the common requests we've heard is that you want better control over notifications and how they're displayed. For example, rather than showing 23 different notifications, one for each unread chat message, or only showing the last one, you can choose how to handle them, potentially consolidating them into a single message. Get notification returns a promise with an array of the current notifications, allowing you to deal with them programmatically before the user gets annoyed. These are just a few of the new features in Chrome 44 for developers. You can get more details from the links in the description. I'm Pete LePage, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to the Google Developers channel because as soon as Chrome 45 is released, I'll be right here to tell you What's new in Chrome?